The protesters are seeking to replace the leading judge of the probe into Beirut's port explosion. Makram Raba is live with us via Skype to discuss the current situation in Lebanon. Mr. Raba, welcome to Zooming this week. Good afternoon. This new government, um, will it, what are the chances it will give in to the protesters' demand, given the violence we've seen in the streets this week? Well, the irony here, there is no such thing as protesters. This is actually Hezbollah and Harakat Amal, who are both represented in the cabinet. If they are, uh, if they are refusing to acknowledge the judiciary, perhaps they should have stepped down and withdrew from the government. This idea that the executive branch should bully uh, basic Lebanese constitution. And Hezbollah, since day one of the explosion, is refusing to acknowledge that this is the role of the judiciary to actually found, find out what really happened. And most of the people who are being uh, summoned uh, to, uh, to investigation are people who are under uh, suspicion and people who have been proven they have been complicit in what had happened. So by Hezbollah defending uh, this corrupt system, it has once again reaffirmed the fact that their weapons are not for fighting Israel, but rather for bullying the inside into accepting their way of thought and their way of justice which goes against basic human rights. The government has said it wants to stay out of judiciary matters. Um, you've pointed out that Hezbollah has been fanning the street violence this week. So what is there left for the government to do? What do you think is the most urgent action that the new government needs to take in light of what's happened on the streets this week? Well, it should basically empower the judiciary as well as uh, Lebanese uh, intelligence branches into finding out what really happened. And we see that now Hezbollah has switched its narrative from accusing the Lebanese forces, a Christian political party, of shooting at them to accusing the Lebanese armed forces and Lebanese army of doing this. In all cases, this was not a peaceful demonstration. We saw and we have footage that proves that Hezbollah had a very violent uh, demeanor in approaching uh, pro the protest, in addition to the fact that e even if Hezbollah has the right to democratically protest, it does not have the right to bully people into accepting uh, their narrative. What should be done right now is that the government of Prime Minister Miqati should affirm that the judiciary is independent and there is no way that anyone could depose a seating judge, a judge which has the support and the backing of the entirety of the Lebanese population. Mr. Rabba, we're short on time on the broadcast today. I'll leave you there, but thank you so much for making time for us today.